Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today we are taking a look at six really really incredible herbivorous dinosaurs. So let's begin with the first one right here. Okay, so inside this there is a 3D puzzle. And then we're gonna do a comparison with the Jurassic World Mattel toy, so let's do it, okay? So this is our first 3D puzzle of the day, okay? So let's place it right over here and let's fix this, shall we? Okay, so this is the back portion. Here it's the front body portion. So it looks like we have a stegosaurus. Let's take a look. And right here we have a stegosaurus. Okay, so why is a stegosaurus so incredible? Do you guys know why? Okay, so let's take a look at the plates right over here. This is the Stegosaurus, it is pretty incredible because of this body plates on top of its body. It is believed that this plates can actually emit heat to help to relieve the body temperature. So yes, it is pretty incredible. It is known as the Roof Lizard. Because all these plates were thought to be lying flat like shingles on a roof. So, which is why paleontologists initially named it as the roof lizard. So, right over here, we have a Dewar Attack Stegosaurus. This is from the Dino River series. And let's take a look at the other Stegosaurus, which is the Action Attack Stegosaurus. So, of course, it is also super incredible because of this four spikes at the end of the tail, alright? Let's proceed to our next most incredible dinosaur, but first, I am Dan, make sure you subscribe if like dinosaurs and Jurassic World, I upload dinosaur videos every single day, okay? So let's move on to the next one. Okay, before we move on to the next figure, alright, let's take a look at some of these dinosaurs on the table. What is this? Can you please tell me the name of this dinosaur? And of course, right here we have a Pachycephalosaurus and a Kylosaurus right over here and a beautiful and majestic Brachiosaurus. Okay, so let's move on to our second most incredible dinosaur. Okay, let's fix this. Come on, let's do it. Fix up the body, followed by the tail, smaller portion of the tail, and now the head. So right over here we have an Ankylosaurus. So what's so incredible about this dinosaur? Let's take a look at this roaring form of an Ankylosaurus. All right, let's listen to its roar. You guys hear that? Closer to the mic. That's pretty, pretty nice. So the Ankylosaurus is known as the fused lizard. And what's so incredible about this dinosaur is because the bones inside its body, they are fused together, forming a really, really tough armor. So this is basically like a living tank. So this is why this is so incredible and it has a tail club, okay? This club at the end of its tail, it's really, really, really strong and powerful and can be used as a defensive weapon against its enemies. So this is why the Ankylosaurus is so incredible. Next! Okay, let's take a look at what's this. Let's fix this up. Alright. Can you 
before I see it. How do we fix this? The body. The front portion of the body. And now we are beginning on the tail. The tail is fixed. And now the head. And right over here we have a Parasaurolophus. And why is the Parasaurolophus so incredible? Okay, I think it is pretty incredible because of this crest right here. Some paleontologists actually believed the Parasaurolophus can actually produce sounds with the help of this crest. I'm not too sure what about you guys, what do you guys think? But some paleontologists actually just feel this crest is for display purposes, for mating purposes to attract um, dinosaurs from the opposite sex. Alright, so what do you guys think? Please let me know down below. For me, I think it is a pretty incredible dinosaur just by its appearance. It looks amazing and it, it is actually a pretty, pretty huge and strong dinosaur. It is known as the Near Crested Lizard. Okay, next up, let's open this. Okay. Looks like we have another puzzle to fix. So let's fix this up. I can see a spiky head right here. How many dinosaurs out there have spiky head? Do you guys know? If you know, do drop a comment down below. Okay, let's fix this up. Now the tail. The first portion of the tail. Followed by the end. And now the head. So right over here, I have a Pachycephalosaurus and possibly a Sticky Moloch. What do you guys think? I'm not too sure. Is this a Pachycephalosaurus or a Sticky Moloch? Let's take a look, okay? Let's take a look at this figure right here. Let's do a comparison with this Sticky Moloch right here. It is known as the River Sticks Demon. So for a Sticky Moloch, I mean, a, um, yeah, a Sticky Moloch, it is pretty incredible because of the skull, which is similar to that of a Pachycephalosaurus. The Pachycephalosaurus is known as the thick-headed skull, thick skull lizard, and this is the battle damage Pachycephalosaurus, and this is the Savage Strike Sticky Moloch. So both dinosaurs are very, very incredible and amazing because of the hard skull. They can actually ram against each other or maybe possibly use it as a defensive weapon against predators. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So these two are really really nice. Sticky Moloch and Pachycephalosaurus. And what is this? Is this a Sticky Moloch or a Pachycephalosaurus? I am leaning towards more of a Sticky Moloch. So let's move on to our next figure. Alright, the next one. Let's pop this open. Let's see what have we got over here. Let's place the Pachycephalosaurus right behind. Oh my goodness, every single dinosaur is falling over. Seems like there is a huge volcanic earthquake right here. So let's fix this up. What do we have right here? Let's fix this. head and the tail looks like we have a ceratopsian right here and this is known as the styracosaurus and why is it so 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 amazing let's take a look at the styracosaurus which is nicknamed the spiked lizard i think it is pretty incredible and amazing because of the spikes around its frill and of course, this huge and long spike in front of his snout. It reminds me of a modern day rhinoceros. It is pretty incredible because it is heavily built like a tank. It has spikes. It could just charge at its predators with these spikes. And it is pretty incredible 
dinosaur. Yes, it is of course pretty difficult and hard for the predator to take it down or take her down. Yeah, so this is why it is so incredible. Strength and its weaponry. Yeah. So these are the six or rather seven most incredible herbivorous dinosaurs that you can find in Jurassic World Jurassic Park franchise. What do you guys think? Let me know down below which is the most incredible herbivorous dinosaur and what do you guys want me to make in the next video. Okay, let me know down below. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if it did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment and I'll try my best to you as soon as possible if you're new here make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and jurassic world because i upload dinosaur videos every single day so make sure you subscribe okay all right i will see you guys tomorrow but you know check out a previous video right here which is the most dangerous um carnivorous dinosaur so make sure you check that out as well okay i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye wait a minute i almost forget the last Egg again, so let's take a look at this. For the previous carnivorous video, I forgot the last egg, and looks like I have forgotten this one as well. But fortunately, I am back, so yeah, let's fix this up. Let's fix this up. Mm, the body, how do we fix this? First, let's fix the leg. The legs, come on, let's go. Now for the body and the tail. So we are almost done. Left with one, two pieces. Now the head and the tail. So what do we have over here? We have a Brachiosaurus. And where is our Brachiosaurus? A Brachiosaurus is sitting right over there. Yeah, check this out, guys. Huge, huge legacy collection Brachiosaurus. So I'm gonna tell you guys why the Brachiosaurus is so, so, so incredible. Okay, so the Brachiosaurus, it's a very, very huge dinosaur. Okay, it has a super long neck, a really, really strong neck strong four limbs really powerful as you guys can see the muscle definition right here it has two longer legs two longer front legs than the hind legs and this is a pretty pretty gigantic and incredible dinosaur because it has huge strength i'm not too sure whether a t-rex can even take down a brachiosaurus on its own so this is why it is so incredible so right so Today we have seen 7 most incredible herbivorous dinosaurs, so make sure you let me know which one is your most favorite in this video, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow, goodbye.